Okay, I've got three kayaks here. The first one on the left is a Ocean Kayak Sprinter. It's uh, 17 foot long and 20 inches wide. The middle one is a Cobra Revision. It's 13 foot 3 and 26 and a half inches wide. The last one is a Perception Illusion and it is 26 and a half inches wide by 14 feet long. <coughs> The one I'm going to talk about now is this Cobra Revision. Um, it's a pretty stable kayak. It's actually made for surfing, but I found you can pretty much use it for anything. As far as top speed, it's pretty quick in the water. It's got some flat areas in the back where you can mount your own hatches. I actually mounted um, an 8 inch hatch and a Scotty mount in the back for, say, a camera or a light, whatever you need if you want to go out at nighttime. And then further up the seat, I mounted a flush mount Scotty rod holder and in front of that another 8 inch hatch. And the kayak's pretty easy to carry. Um, it is stable. Um, you can actually, the way this kayak is set up, you can lay down in the kayak while it's in the water and fall asleep. It's uh, just stable and just the way the shape of it is very comfortable if you lay in here and put your head up on the back. Um, I've taken it out before and mounted this uh, this uh, milk crate on the back of it before and since it has a place for a rod holder uh, I put a rod in there and they've gone fishing and it's it's really stable for fishing it's highly maneuverable they like said it has a fin on the bottom and the fin keeps it going pretty straight without the fin you can practically spin this thing around in a circle with one stroke so basically the bottom of it is shaped like a stand-up paddle board or a paddle board. It almost looks in a way like an old surf ski, like the Magnum P.I. Hayden style surf ski across the bottom. Um, it has a little lip under the edge here, which helps you carry it or lift it, and that also helps keep you up in the wave if you're surfing it. I haven't surfed it yet in, in, in the ocean, in the big waves, but in boat, boat wake it does pretty good. Um, the only drawback that I have found with this kayak is that the edges are sloped inwards at the top. They like all cobra are cobra kayaks are like this, so I don't think it's just common to this one. But the bottom of the kayak is actually wider than the top. And what happens if you get like a quick cross wave or something like that, or a splash that comes across that, it'll want to push this side down and it'll give you like a split second feeling of instability. But uh, I haven't fallen out because of that. It just gives you a little twitch. So, it's a great kayak. It's made out of very durable plastic. It's not like some of the newer ones, cheap junk. <laughs> uh, the top of it is actually textured, so you don't slip on it. The sides and bottom are very smooth. So, uh, the texture, the texture is, it holds up good. The only thing is that it, it, since it's textured, it's like almost like sandpaper. So, if you rub it on something, some of it might rub off onto the texture. And that's pretty much it. That's the Cobra Revision Kayak.